Hello, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this walkthrough and first impressions of the Enchanted Unicorn Oracle. This is a deck by Priestess Moon and it is published by Rockpool Publishing who very generously sent me this deck for review. It came in a surprise package. I was really excited to take a look at this. So we are going to dive into it. Now if you missed it on a previous anti haul, which I will link up in the cards. I actually talked about this deck being on my wish list back when it, when it was in pre-order status and then it kind of fell off my radar for a bit. But it is here, it is in my hands and I'm excited to see what I think of it. And I will, I will fully admit going in, I was not entirely sure, still not entirely sure what I think of this art style. It's kind of out there, but I did a little bit of reading. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that. But first I wanna grab the other Priestess Moon deck that I have in my collection. So if you have ever booked a professional reading with me, you have probably seen these cards. I use these constantly. So this is actually a little mini deck by Priestess Moon and it is full of these little sigils. So prosperity, successful career, triple spiral, love charm, etc. Like, and I, what I'll usually do is include one or two of these and I'll set them out on the table with my client readings just to sort of anchor the intention for the reading. And I love that practice. It's something I've done for a long time, but I also use these cards in spell work. I use them, I use them all the time. It's so convenient. I love this little deck. It's probably one of the things in my collection that's gotten the most like use, but Priestess Moon is the same person behind the Enchanted Unicorn Oracle. Now, interestingly, I had to actually do a little bit of reading because what it says on the back here, the Enchanted Unicorn Oracle gives you access to the magic of plants, exciting spells and rituals, and the wisdom and power of unicorns. The unicorn messages give comfort, joy, and inspiration to guide you through life. This oracle is inspired by the Voynich man Manuscript, an impenetrable medieval work that is one of the most perplexing mysteries in the history of cryptology. Within the 36 cards and accompanying booklet, the mystical nature of the cryptic codex is explored, beautifully matching the myth and magic of the unicorn legend. So y'all, I ended up on Wikipedia <laughs> trying to figure out what the heck was the deal with the Voynich Manuscript. And it was really fascinating to look at some of the images and read bits and pieces about the Voynich Manuscript on Wikipedia. Um, I didn't dive a whole lot deeper than Wikipedia, so if you have some more information to share in the comments down below, I think that would be really, really great. But essentially, the Voynich, Voynich Manuscript had all of these, like, drawings and writing that has not been able to be properly decoded yet. Um, and I don't know if it ever will be, but this art style kind of is a play on the kind of art that was found in the Voynich Manuscript. The types of botanical drawings that they found in there, but there was more than that. There was definitely some esoteric or, um, like, metaphysical kind of information in the Voynich Manuscript. There was stuff about astrology in there because they were able to identify astrological planetary glyphs and things like that. So it's kind Kind of this mysterious source of information that I think it's pretty cool that that was tapped into for this deck. So we're going to take a look at the guidebook in a bit. I want to look at the cards first and bless you Rockpool for a beautiful sturdy box and mostly I want to say it was I was going to say matte cardstock but these actually do have a bit of a sheen. They're not that super crazy gloss or maybe I'm just I mean it's pretty shiny but it doesn't, ha I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't have that super glossy. Well, maybe it is super glossy. Maybe you guys, I'm out to lunch. It's pretty glossy, but it's, I don't know. I don't know why, but maybe it's the coloring. It doesn't look as shiny as other decks like this tend to look, but let's get the little plasticky bits off here and take a look at the cards. So they are numbered and titled at the top with a short like oracle message at the bottom, which is pretty much one of my favorite combinations for oracle decks. I like to have titles. I love it when there's a little bit of a expansive keyword or message that I can work with so that I don't have to rely on the guidebook. Although I will tell you this guidebook looks pretty substantial. So we'll, we'll take, take a look at that too. But for now, let's get zoomed in on these images and take a peek, take a little tour through the Enchanted Unicorn Oracle. So one thing that I'm noticing right away, and we'll have to see if it's a theme through the cards, is I'm noticing um, a little round sigil right here. And since this is a Priestess Moon deck, I'll admit, I'm curious. Let's just take a look and see if that is a sigil 
Oh, I guess I should do this where you can see it. I'm just curious if that's a sigil that's in here, but I don't recognize that one, and I've used this deck a ton, so probably not, but I'm curious. I'm definitely curious. It could just be a coincidence. Oh, no, I, it's not a Look, you guys. So this is the achievement sigil, win the award, accolade, or contract. And this is the card invention, and it says brilliant new ideas. And then up here, there's some Latin, um, which I'm guessing is the plant. So as I understand it, there's a plant associated with each of these cards. Unfortunately, the way the image is, I can't identify the plant from these images. But we're going to set this little sigil aside and see if the trend continues. But I would be surprised if it didn't at this point. So the actual artwork itself, again, very kind of playful and, ooh, I just totally bought my camera. There we go. Very kind of playful and um, wacky, I guess would be a good way to express it. And oh, I didn't show you the backs of the cards. That's what they look like. Yeah, so you can see, if I tip it, you can see um, the reflection there. So yeah, it is pretty glossy. I was just, it was probably just the parchment look to the background. I do love the aesthetic of the parchment look. And this has got such a fun, sketchy sort of outline look. And if you look closely at these, you've got a little unicorn friend here and a little unicorn friend down there, which I think is super cute. So next we have Dragonfly, Everything is Going to be Fine. And I'm pretty sure that is the spirit sigil because I'm now wondering if there's going to be one of these for every sigil, because Priestess Moon, clever, clever lady. Okay. Yep. Spirit. Heavenly assistance from your angels and guides, and this is Dragonfly. Everything is going to be fine. So we are seeing a correlation for sure. Again, I don't know what the plant is, <laughs> but we're going to dive into that when we get into the guidebook, but I like this. Dragonfly, everything is going to be fine. Do I immediately see the association between Dragonfly and the message everything is going to be fine? Not necessarily, but knowing that Dragonflies are messengers to the spirit world and knowing that this is associated with the spirit sigil, I'm starting to see some really cool connections. So if you happen to have the Making Magic mini deck, which by the way, they're going to be coming out with a bigger version of this in round cards, round like the sigils, just saying, <laughs> found out about that recently. So I'll be keeping my eyes out for that as well. Anyway, um, but if you happen to have these and you work with them, this adds another cool layer to the meanings. And I don't know if that's addressed in the guidebook, I guess we'll see, but I'm kind of excited. And I suppose it's hinted at on the box as well, because there's some sigils on the box. So that's cool. Fireworks, put yourself out there. And again, I know this sigil is in here. I hope this doesn't get too boring. I'll try not to be too slow. So this is time to shine. Again, put yourself out there. Fireworks, time to shine. Create the energetic resonance for golden opportunities. Love this. Fly trap, getting stuck in sticky situations. And here we have, I believe, the earth sigil on the cheek. Is that the Earth Sigil? That is the Earth Sigil, right? 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 Nope, that's the one for the elements. The elements of fire, air, earth, and water combine to create powerful, protective boundaries, spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional. So I don't know that this feels quite as aligned as the other ones. I mean, it is aligned, you can see that, but it's just not as aligned, but it gives you another layer of meaning. Solar, a safe and happy home. And here we have Mystic Star, harmony in the home and great friendships. So again, there's that correlation. And I love the peaceful look on this unicorn friend's face. You know, these wacky creatures with their facial expressions are actually kind of growing on me, which I'm not sure I was expecting, to be honest. I'm a bit of a uni unicorn purist, right? Like I like my unicorns a certain way. So I can be weirdly picky and not necessarily just like everything unicorn. <laughs> it's hard to describe, but there you go. 1967. Okay, so I'm going to be interested to see what that's all about in the guidebook, to be completely honest. But this one is Break Your Routine. And this sigil... Is it that one? No. I got to do it, you guys. I have to match them. It just, it has to happen. Feel free to put me on fast forward if this is painstakingly slow for you. Here we go. So this is Break Your Routine 1967. And here it says the festival creates an energetic blueprint for a fantastic party or event. Okay, so now I have to look. I have to. I have to see. Was there a festival in 1967? Somebody's going to know this, like, off the top of their head and be annoyed with me that I don't know. I just can tell. I can just tell. Um, let's see. Aha. 
This card takes us back to the heady days of the late 1960s, kicked off by the Summer of Love in 1967 and culminating in the iconic Woodstock Music Festival of 1969. I knew it. I knew it was referring to something specific. Love it. Look at these like flowers all over this unicorn. I'm curious about all the plants associations too. I just, I wish there's a lot on this card. So I realized they probably had to like, you know, edit it in and decide which things to keep and which things not to have on there. But I really kind of wish that the plants were, it, there was an English title for the plant somewhere on here. I'm pretty sure that the Latin here is referring to the plant, but since I don't speak Latin. Yeah, like this says Gerbera James Sony. So it's probably a Gerbera Daisy maybe, but... I'm way too lazy to learn the to learn the Latin, so I'll be relying on the guidebook for the plant medicine. Now we have flowerful, sweet and gentle power, and that is the air element. So air element. Where are you? There you are. Work with the element of air to cut through to the core of a situation and see to the truth. And here we have hedgerow, let it go with the Awen symbol. And Awen is, it's interesting too, this says let it go, but Awen I often think of as like spiritual inspiration um, and downloads and things like that. But it does say balancing male and female energies, peace and harmony. So peace and harmony and let it go. That definitely works as a message. Take some time for yourself. Bury me. And that is the earth element. I, I've got to figure out a better way to hold these so that I'm not like fussing the same way. But, you know, it is what it is. Earth element. It's kind of fun to see. Okay, yeah. So, ask the element of earth for grounding, stability, and strength in times of chaos. Bury me. Take some time for yourself. Rainforest. The good luck card. And that one's got the abracadabra with wings sigil. Fantastic good fortune and lucky chances. So, again, the good luck card. Rainforest. It definitely works. I love the goofy grin on this unicorn too. I mean, these are, these cards are very like, they definitely have personality, right? Union, soulmates and friendship. And I'm guessing this is going to be, I know which sigil this is. There it is. Happy love, a joyful, stable partnership and good friends. Soulmates and friendships. Strange fruit. Embrace your differences. And that is the water element. Which is work with the element of water for healing, purification, and refinement. Patience and trust. I don't recognize that. It's not that one. Why don't I? Oh, it is in here. Perseverance, the motivation to keep going despite the odds. Patience and trust. Admit your true feelings. And that is the labyrinth. Interesting with the labyrinth there. Transition to a higher level of being, raising your energetic vibration. Um, enlightenment. Vessel. Admit your true feelings. Rediscover the sweetness of life. And that one is the goddess sigil. I forget what it calls itself. If it calls itself goddess or healing feminine energy. Rediscover the sweetness of life. Cherish. Anahata. Uh, love without judgment. Anahata, which is the heart chakra. And what sigil would they have chosen here? That's interesting. Nope. Nope. Is it even in here? Uh-oh. Is this the first one that's not in here? That would be annoying. Did I pass it already? Oh, man. We were on such a roll, too. There it is. Oh, it's in here. Dragonfly. You bring light to this world. Love without judgment. Anahata. Mirth, don't be so serious. And that one is 
One Enchanted Evening, The Perfect Night. 1,000 deck, excuse me, deeper understanding, not deck. Where did I get deck from? And that's the Triskelly, or the Triple Spiral, rather, sorry. Listening to Divine Wisdom and Joyfully Learning Life's Lessons. So Joyfully Learning Life's Lessons and Deeper Understanding definitely works. Divinity, Balance the Physical and Spiritual. And our sigil is... Is it this one? No. It is... What sigil is that? I want to know. Is it this one? No, it doesn't have arrows. Oh, it's this one, the Tree of Life. It's the Tree of Life. True wisdom and making good choices in life. Balance the physical and spiritual. Divinity. Shroom. Think outside the box. Okay, this one cracks me up because obviously shroom and psychedelics, this does have, you know, the more you more, the more I look at it, I'm like, this does have that sort of like um, woodstocky kind of feel, right? And I'm pretty sure that one is about intuition. So let's grab that sigil. Insight opens the third eye to strengthen intuition. Shroom. So that works, right? Like that sigil totally makes sense for that card. Intergalactic, intergalactic, in the zone, in the zone, intergalactic, and that's on target, follow your ideal life path, again, totally, these messages definitely align with the sigils for sure, rainbow, feel at peace, and this is all the chakras, of course, uh, and the symbol ohms with this dragon, or excuse me, unicorn, they are very dragony unicorns, aren't they, um, and this one, What's the primary sigil here? It looks like it looks like water up here at the top, but I thought we already had water. Didn't we already have water? No, yeah, we already had water. We had we have fire, and these. Oh, I see. There's the sigil right there. There's a whole bunch of symbols in here, so it's hard to see. But that's the that's the sigil right there. That's a nod to the original one, and that's this. It's that one always cracks me up because it's such a messy looking sigil to me. I don't know what it is, but there's something about it. It just looks really like kind of messy but it says um to me it's uh it's afar but it could also be fear and it looks like that healing so rainbow feel at peace that totally works look at okay this card is the whole deck for me right here nobody is surprised that i am in love with this card um that is the perfect card it is called cupcake and it says the body positive card like just, just tell me like it is. I like it like that. That's perfect. Look at this chubby, happy unicorn right now. Like, for realsies. You guys, this is my spirit animal. This is the, We're looking at my spirit animal right now. That's what that is. What sigil was chosen for our beloved body positive card cupcake? Which one? Which one is it? It's the arrows. Self-confidence, strong self-belief, and a sense of worth. Well, okay, we're done. We can go home now. We can go home now. This deck just hit it out of the ballpark with this one card combination right here. This is the one. This is mine. This is my combination. All, all for me <laughs> and for anybody else who this resonates with. But you know what I mean. All right. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so great. I will say the artwork is kind of funny. It's almost out of place with all the rest of it. And I, I literally don't care because this unicorn is representing like, yeah, I know I don't fit in. It's fine. It, it, it works on so many levels. I love it. Okay, life is meant to be enjoyed, all souls. Where's our sigil? There it is. And it's the little forky ones. Little luxuries generates luxurious experiences and surroundings. So Priestess Moon hasn't made something I don't like yet. So that's a thing. Psychedelic, wisdom from the fairy folk. And that is the fairy sigil. You all also recognize this symbol from the Tarot of the She, which is a, a favorite deck of mine. I absolutely love it. So that's cool. Psychedelic, wisdom from the fairy folk. And then we, of course, have the power symbol. This is actually, I believe, a sigil associated with Reiki. But it is also a symbol that is featured in um, fae work. So love that. Love, love, love. 
transform your life. So the keyword is transform. And here we have our fire sigil. This is the element that heralds new life, renewed passion and positive transformation. So very aligned. Greenwood, the awakening. Our pile is smaller now, so this is easier. Felix Felicitas, power symbol to create lucky serendipitous events. Beautiful. Ignite, opportunities flow flowing in, and that is the sun sigil. The golden energy of the sun brings fame and fortune. Love, love, love. Blossom, the start of a fantastic new journey. And that is our star. The silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity. Yes. Snacks. <laughs> I love the name of this card. Release judgments around food. Oh, you guys, this is a good one for body positive work. Just having a sip of my fizzy water. Oh, I was going to find the sigil. Time to shine. Oh, no. Nope, it's not time to shine. It's breaking bad habits, self-acceptance, excellent mental health, and letting go of vices. Oh, I love that. Such a great combo. Water wheel. End the struggle. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Did I mess up my sigils? <gasps> I did. I mixed up my sigils before. That's why. Because this, this, this is the Reiki one. Where was it? Okay, this is the power symbol one. The earlier one was this fairy magic one. So I messed that up. That was all me. This one is power symbol. Cleanse, purify, and protect the physical body. And of course, the fairy one. That's why I got those symbols mixed up. They do look very similar. So that explains that. You know, water wheel and the struggle. Attract a lover. And we have love charm. Attract a lover and soulmate or life partner. Secrets revealed. Toadstool. And this one is this safe and happy travel. Oh, interesting. Protection from harm and journeying. Secrets revealed. Well, I guess that works with protection from harm. That, that one doesn't align as well as I think some of the other ones do, but I might learn more in the guidebook. Here we have sex magic and we have the philosopher's stone, which is powerful manifestation of wish wishes and goals by harnessing universal energy. Curious what plant that's going to be we'll find out in the guidebook gloriousness gloriously human so another very accepting card in my opinion um, and this one has the protection sigil strong protective magic for the family and the home pipe dream dreams become reality and oh this is the last one that means some got left out oh no well we'll check those out too and this one is rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes so that is it for those. And the only sigils that didn't make it into the deck are the triple moon, successful career, prosperity, and trink of five. All the other ones made it into this deck. So that's pretty dang good. That is because the making magic has 40 cards and this deck must have 36, 36 cards. So not bad, not bad. And it's pretty cool that those tie together considering how much I use and love the Making Magic deck. So that's super fun. Let's zoom out and we'll give her a shuffle and then we'll take a look at the guidebook, maybe pick a sample card or two. That's too much. Let's zoom in a bit. There we go. That looks better. So standard rock pool cardstock, always really nice and easy to shuffle. I'm guessing probably 330 GSM, three, actually this is by 350 GSM, um, and a glossy finish, bright and colorful, lots of personality in these cards, but I'm kind of surprised by the amount of depth just by thinking about the fact that you've got an image to work with here, you have a title, you have a keyword, you have a sigil, which if you get familiar with those adds another layer. And then we have plants, which we'll get into in the guidebook. So already kind of impressed that there's that many layers to this deck. And I feel like this could be a really good one for spell work and for ritual work, which makes sense because I do feel like that's definitely right up um, my other priestess moon decks, like kind of in the same ballpark. So let's take a look at the guidebook. I am gonna zoom us in just so that we can see a little better and hopefully get less glare. So the Enchanted Unicorn Oracle, uh, Voynich Magic, Priestess Moon. Oh, it says Voynich Magic there too, okay. 
So here you have in the index, you have the titles of all the cards with their associated plants. And then there's an introduction where it talks about the Voynich manuscript. I can't wait to get into all the details and read that, but I did, like I said, read the wiki. The Botanical Oddities. So it says the enchanted unicorn images are intended to be representations of plants rather than purely botanical illustrations. So stylized foliage fruits and flowers sprout from the unicorn's heads and bodies, capturing the spirit of the weird and wonderful drawings of the original manuscript. Botanists remain puzzled about which species of plants are represented in the Voynich manuscript, so the oracle has taken some artistic license and assumed many of the names of the peculiar flowers represented. It is worth mentioning that the scholar Edith Sherwood has done some fascinating research on the botanical, botanical aspect of the manuscript and has tentatively identified most of the plants. However, not everyone agrees with the identifications owing to the modest talent of the artist who painted the originals. That is a very kind way to say that these are not very accurate plant type type drawings like in the original manuscript obviously these aren't exact copies but um that's kind of funny though <laughs> it is also possible that some of the plants in the codex are extinct and therefore unidentifiable because of course the voynich manuscript dates back to 1404 and uh between 1404 and 1438 ad so it's like it's old <laughs> So then we have some information on the Enchanted Unicorn Oracle. Um, at its very core, the Voynich Manuscript appears to be a book on self-healing and self-care. And this is also the intention of the Enchanted Unicorn Oracle. Well, guys, you know that's right up my alley. And then we have some information here about unicorns. It talks about some of, his, some of the unicorn's history, which I really am excited about. And then unicorn magic. So when you get in here, it's talking about how you can bless your cards. And there is, it looks like the unicorn's conundrum spread, which is a yes-no spread. And the unicorn's problem solver, um, which is kind of fun. So a few spreads there to play with. I like this image too with the little unicorn creatures. I like that there's color images. You know, Rockpool always does a really good job with the quality of their products. And like, look at this like color and these little parchment insets with their layout of this book. It's just really well done and beautiful. So we'll go into our first card here just to get an idea. So we have here the first card, which was invention. Oh, I've already shuffled them. But anyway, the first card was invention, brilliant new ideas. And it says blueberry was the plant for this first one. So then you get some information about Blueberry, you get a divination message, and then you get unicorn magic. So we're going to do a sample. I'm going to see if there's anything else in the guidebook worth pointing out, like at the end or anything. Yeah, there's a bibliography. Um, and a bit about the author. Priestess Moon is a Western Australian artist. Her artwork is designed to impart a sense of enchantment, and she has five solo exhibitions in her to her name, as well as numerous group exhibitions. And there's more here about her. That's Priestess Moon there. Love your stuff, Priestess Moon. <laughs> Just gushing because I can. And then other card sets. So the Enchanted Spell Oracle I don't have. Um, but I do have that the Making Magic cards. It doesn't even, does it even talk about the Making Magic cards? No. <gasps> the travesty. Anyway, look at that unicorn. Okay. So we're going to do a little sample um, card draw and read everything that the guidebook has to say about that single card. Just to give us an idea of how this thing will work for card draws. And I'm really excited. I didn't expect it to have such a like self-loving, self-care vibe. So that's super fun. Um, let's grab a card and see what it says. Okay, so we have fly trap, getting stuck in sticky situations. And I'm also going to be curious to see if the book addresses the sigils that we found, because I didn't see that in the introduction. So, oh, and just to make life interesting, it looks like they're using the same three, hold on one sec. It looks like they're using the same three sigils to separate all the pages. Okay, so these sigils are... Time to Shine, the Goddess, and the Earth Element sigil. That's interesting. Okay, just a little thing to note. So we have Venus Flytrap. Oh, of course, that's a Venus Flytrap. That makes perfect. That makes perfect sense. Oh, it says Flytrap right there. You guys, the, I'm clearly not awake. All right, let's see what it has to say. A common myth about the Venus flytrap is that it is a large plant, when in fact the traps are only a couple of centimeters in diameter. The delicate snares work by luring insects onto a platform of sweet-smelling nectar, setting off a trigger mechanism which quickly imprisons them in the toothy leaves. The Venus flytrap is often used in spell work for protection and love. Divination. Drawing the flytrap unicorn indicates that you are or are about to become trapped in a sticky situation, whether through obligation, peer pressure, family expectations, financial deals, or a toxic friendship and relationship. Be alert, but not concerned. 
The appearance of this card is a gift as it makes you aware of a situation that can be easily avoided. The flytrap unicorn encourages the power of discernment and good choices. If something doesn't feel right, don't say yes to it out of obligation or duty or trying to please others. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. If an offer from someone sets off uneasy feelings, trust your gut. Can you see where we are going with this? On a more superficial level, employ the power of saying no to requests and invitations that do not bring you joy. Feeling trapped by joyless work or social situations are very good indicators that you are not on the right track. This card encourages you to seek freedom and lightness because right now this is important. Ask yourself what really matters to you. The Venus flytrap is a surprisingly discerning plant. It is intricately designed to trap only insects of the right size and shape. This is in the unicorn magic section here. Ask the unicorns to help you sharpen your own powers of discernment. Ask for a sign to show that you are on the right track and making the right decisions for your mental, emotional, and spiritual health. Look out for random unicorn pictures or items or even the word unicorn as an encouraging sign from your guides and angels that your instincts are working well. So that gives you a little sort of, I want to say like a more spiritual message. And this, the voice of this works very, very well for me because I actually do work with unicorn guides. Um, or a unicorn guide specifically. So having this like little unicorn message to me almost feels like a little message from my guide. Um, and I like that we actually get a good amount of information about the plant. So it's not just like randomly associated in there. It's actually giving you like useful information of what the fly trap is and like how it operates and why that's meaningful for the card meaning. Um, just randomly, I won't read the whole thing, but let's take one more look. Transform your life. I just want to see what plant this is and like how it associates with the message because it looks like the, the plants are um, chosen very mindfully here. So transform. This is a fire and this is, of course, chili pepper, which makes perfect sense. And this is a very phoenixy unicorn here on the card. Um, and red chili pepper is a hot summer spice under the dominion of the fiery red planet of Mars. And it, it continues on about its magical um, associations. I like that you get the magical use of the plant. Like it says, its task on a magical level is to inspire action, making things happen quickly and constructively. Medicinally, its stimulating effect helps ailment, ailments brought on by cold and damp conditions. Chilies raise the metabolism and can bring a sense of euphoria when eaten in large quantities. Like it's really smart that you get that little bit of the botanical information, but then you also get how that plant works magically. And in this case, you also got some a bit about when used internally or medicinally. So it's it's actually got a lot of information in kind of a small affordable package. I mean, if you're looking for a deck that has elements of self-care, that has elements of of whimsy and sort of that that medieval sort of look and feel and also has a little bit of magic with the unicorns. I mean, it I feel like it takes off so many boxes. Oh, look, my one candle went out. Oh, that's kind of sad. It died on this video. Well, you can be out of the picture then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's just do our little pretty fan out. I'll actually move both candles out there. I am super curious to hear what you guys think. This one was one that I wasn't sure about when I saw the artwork. I was like, I don't know. Is it my style? It's kind of out there. But, you know, I'm really glad that Rockpool sent this to me because it ticks off so many of my boxes, right? It's got that plant energy. It's It addresses magic. It's got that self-care and self-loving vibe to it that y'all know I love. And I just feel like it does a really, really good job with all of that stuff. So I'm pretty dang excited to have this in my collection now. And I can't wait to hear Hear what you guys think about it too so definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think please do like this video if you enjoyed this walkthrough share if you know anybody who's interested in decks like this or who would be interested in looking at all of this beautiful artwork subscribe if you're new here to see more videos like this in your feed i do a brand new deck walkthrough or i try to do a deep dive if i don't have something brand new at least once a week so keep an eye on this channel for more decks to, that you can discover more fun things i also do anti hauls and i bring you along with my deck purchasing decisions so definitely hang out with me we do fun things here and remember if you want to book a reading you can do that over at supportivetarot.com thank you so much for joining me and may your magic always shine from the inside out bye guys